Hi, my name is Colin McNaughton, Technical Marketing for Ansible Automation Platform. In recent weeks, a new certified content collection has been published to Automation Hub that allows for ServiceNow ITSM automation. Now, before we can start automating incident management and CMDB updates, we need to configure our credentials. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a new credential type to be used to authenticate to ServiceNow ITSM and how you can leverage this credential and the new inventory plugin provided by the new certified content collection within Ansible Automation Platform. First, we're going to create a new credential type in Automation Controller. I'm going to consult the documentation on Automation Hub for the required inputs here. Here is the sample input and injector configuration that I will copy and paste right into Automation Controller for this custom credential type. Next, I will create a new credential for my ServiceNow instance using this new credential type. In order to use an inventory plugin from a collection, we need to first source it from a project. Now, I already have an existing project that I have configured for this purpose, so let's take a look. The servicenow.yaml file contains the details for the inventory plugin. The requirements.yaml file is needed so that the automation controller can first download the collection and therefore the inventory plugin. Okay, so now let's create a new project that we'll use to source our inventory from. And finally, let's create that inventory. I'll give it a name, set the organization, and save. Next, I'll configure the source. Perfect. Looks like we're ready to go. Let's try it out. All right, everything looks good. We can see our hosts here, and it looks like they're grouped by manufacturer, where the OS is either Red Hat Enterprise Linux or Windows XP. That's actually expected. If we go back to my servicenow.yaml file, I can see this is how I wanted my inventory to look. Thank you very much. 